Nick Pacheco. I know that kid since he was, I don't know, maybe 10. I admire his focus. He's called Iceman because nothing affects him. He, he literally does have ice water running through his veins because nothing really seems to rattle that guy. He's, he's, he's a beast. That's what he is, he's a beast. Kaiki, he is the ice man. How he don't have three or four world titles is beyond me. He just rides them so good, so correct, and real student of the game. He, you know, he's so focused. When it, it's time to ride bulls, it's him and that bull. Kaiki, and that is emotion from the ice man. For me and my partner, he's my one, one of my best friends. He's focused on his job and he's the best bull rider in the world. I think underneath that tough and unbreakable exterior is this unbelievable passion and drive. And for Kaiki, the 2018 World Finals was one of those maturation moments for him. Pacheco does his job. He made me nervous that he'd never get to win a world title because he finished bridesmaid two or three years. He finished the top two, I think, three or four times. That's incredible. He's Kaique Pacheco, world champion. You know, worldwide famous. When it comes to bull riding, everybody knows Kaique Pacheco, and still, he's just a kid. He's so humble. These bulls are gonna have to bring a lot more. Kaique's been somebody that I've looked up to and been chasing since 2015, and he's just like a robot. I mean, you, you, you know what he's gonna be when he shows up, and uh, that guy's managed to stay on uh, the top for a long time. Man, Galermi, that's Hollywood. He had this Hollywood smile. He is the model of consistency. You're talking about a guy that qualified for 15 PBR World Finals. I mean, that guy's a ox. He's just strong. That kid, holy mackerel, he hurt me. He would just like, hey, hey boy, man, and squeeze me, and he hurt me. He was sliding that hand in to take that, take his, start pulling his rope and take his rat. You could just see the forearm on that guy. My very first World Finals, I just remember watching him make a ride, and I thought, this looks like a video game. Like this, this bull's bucking so hard, and and the intensity's there, and everything that's going down. And Glare May rides him, it, it, it just, it didn't seem real. When it comes to bull riding, he just flowed out there. He was a perfect dancer. You know, you think about Glare Marchi, he was the first guy ever to ride 500 bulls at this level. And we thought, man, we're watching something that might not ever be duplicated. And then all of a sudden, he was the first guy to ride 600 bulls. <laughs> That's a lot. He was riding 50 five percent of his bulls. So when he reached that number, 600 qualified rides, he wasn't like out of 4,000 bulls, it was out of 1,100 something, you know? My most memorable moments with Glaremi is the year he won the world title. I think he rode Copperhead Slinger five or six times, won, won three or four events on him, picked him at the finals, rode him at the world finals. There's no other way to put it than Glaremi Marchi was, is unreal. Michael Gaffney is a guy that I rode with my whole life, basically. You know, I used to tell him all the time that it wasn't fair, that it was that easy for him and that, that hard for the rest of us. A founding father of the PBR, and just good guy, class act. Probably one of the most sincere people I've ever met in my life. He was an animal when it came to getting on the back of Bucking Boys. And he really does sincerely care about this sport and everything around it and in it. Whenever you think of Michael Gaffney, you gotta think of Little Yellow Jacket. Just too tight and he's going at it. Probably the best bull of, of the time then, and then G-Man being the world champion that he was, them two just going at it. Well, he's a world champion. The way he won his title is very impressive to me. I was in an event in Brazil when I broke my leg, but I went to the finals. Okay, Donnie, it comes down to this, and he has Rays and Kane. You can hear somebody yell, come on, Michael. That was Adriano Moraes, who just uh, hobbled by us with his crutches, Donnie. Yeah. 
Michael Gaffney had to ride every bull at the World Finals to even have a shot. Adriano was setting out with a broke leg or whatever, but still he was kind of so far ahead nobody could catch him. But Michael Gaffney goes on and rides all of his bulls and wins the world championship. You know, takes a special kind of guy with ice running through their veins to do. You know, when you have something you have to do, a lot of people can't do it. He, he let his ride and do his talking for him. Gaff, Gaffney won't tell you how good of a hand he is, but he could get it done. A dear friend of mine, I really love that guy, and uh, I wish I was half of man that he is. Silvano, he changed the game. He's a guy that from his very first world title, he rewrote the book on how to win a world title. All the other top 30s on the list, half of them Silvano competed against for his world titles. That guy is the most brilliant bull rider that ever lived. What? He's a genius. He know every single bull by his footprints. He knows the riders better than themselves. He knew exactly what he had to do in order to win. Like he understood the rules better than we did, better than the guys that create the rules. You know, and he knew how to use them better than anybody else. And that's why he is one of the best. Especially when you can ride bulls like that. He came in and promptly started winning, but won in such a manner that the, the sport basically was changed to try to give other guys a chance to be as competitive. And he still won world championships. Why do you think Justin McBride picking? Well then, here comes Justin McBride, Nashville Stampede. They draft Silvano just before their home event. Silvano is the last guy to go. He gets the ride, he walks it off, he gets all of Bridgestone Arena on their feet. What about that? Let the hats fly inside Bridgestone Arena! He's one of the legends. He's one of the only two three-time world champions. You know, three world titles, there ain't, there ain't gonna be too many people ever do that. Ty Murray is the bull rider that transcended bull riding. He's one of the reasons that this sport was brought to the masses. In the beginning of PBR, he was still riding rodeos. You know, three events, you know, bareback, bronx, and bulls, and plus PBR. To be at the top at this level, and then to be able to do it in three events, uh, I couldn't imagine. I remember sitting next to him as they brought out, kind of, and he was, everybody was gonna do the, the, final, the awards, and, and they were gonna crown a world champion. He was the, the, the world finals champion, and we'd never seen that before. You just know he's going to be at the top. You know he's going to be winning. Every time he nodded, he made sure he was the most prepared. He put himself in a position to win time and time again. And that's why he's got seven all-around titles. That's why he's got two PRCA bull riding gold buckles. That's how he got on Dancing with the Stars. Man, the ride that he made on uh, Red Wolf, that move was bucking. That day was one of the best trips that Red Wolf had ever had. He pretty much had Ty Murray bucked off about that second round or so. Both of Ty's feet come up, and I guess that saddle bronc riding and Ty Murray kicked in. He shoots both of them back down and really just gives it to him and spurs him. Troy Dunn and the other guys is that when they get in a position to get bucked off, they don't get off. They, they find a way to make the whistle. I don't know, watching that ride over and over again growing up, that, that was like a moment that I wanted to live for, and I wanted to be in that moment myself.